Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Lots of lots of qualifiers to remember there. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to head down to the SSN and hopefully also defeat our hated rival, Peaches, once more. Uh, first, I'm going to talk to this dude and get the bike voucher so that we don't have to come back here later on during, um, well, just, you know, when we get to, there we go, look at that, yay. Gotta remember to get that, gotta remember to get that, so we don't get to Cycling Road and have to go run some dumb errand later on. Anyway, let's check in on the team. Um, as, expect, as expected, uh, Dracus was not super happy that Happy evolved. I was very happy. Um, but Dracus, it is like, so what, you know, if you thought a fire was burning before, she has been so determined, such training, just everyone else sleeping up latest, putting in the extra effort, trying to get stronger and stronger. Um, often with the, uh, often Moirin and Cece will, will stay up late and, you know, observe Dracus training, but, uh, they, they tend to fall off before before Dracus tires out, even though Dracus is the one doing the work. That is the level of her determination. So, serious asset? I wish it was fueled a little less by anger and jealousy, but, you know, uh, the results are the results, so it's a strong Pokemon, no matter what. Uh, Sporkles, and ha Sporkles, on the other hand, so proud of Happy for uh, finally getting to the final stage of evolution, rides around on his shoulder. It's adorable. They're both, I mean, it's so nice. And that little twinkly, sparkly little Sporkles up there. Oh, it's fantastic. And then there's Data, um, who, uh, despite despite his best efforts, just cannot seem to, you know, like, it's so funny because Happy and Sporkles, of course, are pretty, like, friendly towards everyone on the team and would be happy to spend time with Data, but Data only wants the attention of Cece, who is still just, like, all about Dracus. So, anyway, that's, you know, those are, those are my team politics at the moment. That's what's happening. Let's head to the SS Sand and see if we can't defeat us some Peaches. I'm not, this is going to be an interesting experiment because I don't know how the randomizer is going to treat the rest of Peaches' lineup. Peaches, Peaches' lineup? Last time, I know Peaches will keep the same starter Pokemon throughout the game, so they will always have um, a Pidgey or a Pidgeot or a Pidgeot throughout. But the question is, like, the last time we fought them, they also had, like, an Umbreon on the team. Will the Umbreon stay is the question. Is the... Is the um, the question about the Umbreon. Um, will the other Pokemon be the same, or will we have to prepare for a completely random set of pokes every single time we run into Peaches, other than the Pidgey? That's what we don't know. Judge Woman Thomas from Back to Battle. Oh, he sent out a Minin, a less good Minin, dare I say. My goodness, nothing. But what's as good, what's as, good as our Minin? None. Look at that one tackle from CC destroys that Minin. Something to keep in mind, I suppose this guy's an electric type trainer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jolteon. We had a Jolteon on our very first uh, Fire Red Nuzlocke team once upon a time. Mighty Woody. Very powerful Jolteon indeed. Boy, CC having a... Maybe not, not on her game today. Staying up a little too late. Missing a few of those easy tackles. I mean, we had a few sand attacks, but... Yeah. Level 22. All right. Great, 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 great. To that end, let's go ahead and uh, keep the experience nice and spread around. Get data out front. We'll head down here. Yeah, what do you got? Who wants something? I'm a choke is super strong. Great, good for you. One super potion, I'll take it. Free items, thanks for the gift. See you later. All right. Come on then, my sailor's pride is at stake. Well, yeah, what's, what's your... Oh, look, he actually has water types. That's hilarious. Uh, they seem to so rarely have the types you'd expect them to have. We'll switch up. We'll give more in some fights. Parish Song. Oh, no. Okay. Well, obviously we're going to switch because we're not going <laughs> to... We're not going to die to Parish Song. Am I right? We'll just go to Sporkles and hit this thing. Uh-huh. Spark. It's going to kill itself is what's going to happen. Unless it also switches. Oh, it did switch! Oh my gosh, they, they almost never do that. I have never seen traitors. That's interesting. They're actually taking advantage of Parish Song. Um, okay, that's interesting. Can we wake up? Good job, Sporkles. And here comes the Politoed again. 
You got nothing. Paralyzed, can't move. Mighty quick attack, which killed that Curly in the last episode. I'm not even sure if we're going to have the opportunity to run into new Pokemon. I, you know what? We have to... Uh, we have to... What? Do we get cut? We'll be able to use cut until we defeat Lieutenant Surge? I think we can. I think we get it for defeating Misty, so... Maybe... We'll just cut through the grass and immediately go try and catch something because I'm so determined to just... I need to prove it to myself that we can. It's been such an embarrassing aspect of this playthrough. <laughs> uh, so let's see. This is a part flying type, this Gyarados. Let's see how it does with Aurora Beam. Oh, wow. It does really well is the answer. So what we're going to do is switch out to, yet again, Sporkles, because four times effectiveness. Fight as if. Get out of here, Gyarados. You got nothing on the Sporks. He's too good for you. There you go, Dade. Up to level 22. That's what I like to see. Good job. And then we're going to switch out to Dracus out front. There we go. See if all that training's paying off. Oh, oh I like feisty kids like you. That's a weird thing to say, man. I'm just telling you. Just, just you know, throwing it out there. It's weird. It's weird that you said that. Ah, Magneton. Hmm. I don't like that. Because our answer to Steel types is typically going out to Happy, which I think we're going to do anyway. But uh, Magneton is also going to be strong against uh, Happy because it's electric. But we do have 13 levels on it, so I think we're okay. Yeah, we should be good. Thundershock, though. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I still can't not see the butt, you guys. It's, pri it's, it's right there. Do you see the butt? It's right, it's right there. <laughs> oh, another Magneton. Let's see. Water gun. But Magneton is going to be a problem. We got we to gotta figure out a way to get around this thing. Um, I mean, we've also got Data, I suppose. And the belt. This guy's actually not an electric-type trainer. He's a steel-type trainer. <laughs> This is, why we, this is why it's always good. We need a fire type attack on the team somewhere. That's what we're missing. We need someone to learn a fire type attack. Looking at you, Dracus. But here we go. Let's see. What's this guy got? Even a sailor's got a Pokemon too. Yeah, I know that. You're like the fourth one I fought now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's rock to this guy. Odor Sleuth. Waste of a move. Ah, oh, man. Our... We're doing good with Rock Tomb, but it just doesn't do that much. Oh, we're burned. Oh, no. That's actually very bad. Uh, let's go out to Data here. To oh, you roared us out, but now we're gonna hit you with the Intimidate. So that only that sort of backfired on you. We'll just smack you with the tackle here, and you're going for the roar again. You want to see the whole team? That's fine. Bring it, dude. Spark. Everyone's gonna get experience for that fight. Great. And a Vulpix. Oh boy. Oh, we've been burned twice. This is not usual. Burns are so tricky because they like cut your um, attack down, which is not good. I don't like that. At least it doesn't hurt you while you're walking. 44 rest. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, the other thing, there's actually, thankfully, they built this in. You can go to this chick and you can nap here on the ship instead of having to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. You used to have to go all the way back into town. It's a real hassle. But anyway, not anymore. Gonna keep grinding through these guys and a palm. Gonna get headbutt right in the face. It's doing remarkably more damage than you might have thought. A swallow. Ooh. Uh. I am. Okay. For some, man, I was like, I'm feeling nervous about the swallow. I was like, this thing looks like it might hurt us very badly. Go ahead. Oh, it used quick attack. Oh, oh gosh. My heart skipped. I was like, wait, no. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Dracus. Woo. And a Dunsparce. I'm just going to switch just because we're low on health, but I'm pretty sure Dracus can take the Dunsparce. You know what I'm saying? Rage. As if. We're going to leech seed, dude. Take that for your rage. And then we're just going to gross so we don't feed into your rage. And then uh, we'll just poison sting you. Glare. How dare you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got nothing, dude. You're about to get Mega Drain. I'm all good. You're dead. That's how it goes. And we're going to use a Paralyze Heal because we don't like being paralyzed. 
And we're going to Super Potion Dracus because we care. We want to show affection to this Pokemon because it's so angry all the time. Ludicolo! Oh boy, that's an interesting Pokemon. It's Grass and Water, though, which Dracus resists both of, so I'm thinking we're okay. Uh, we're going to go for the Focus Energy, I think. We're going to go for the Crits. We're going to go for the Crits and for the Flinches. Ready? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, there's the crit. There's the crit we needed, but God, look how much damage it's doing with freaking Swift. I think we're okay. Growl, how dare you? We got it down. And we got to 23. Man, that was a... Ludicolo can be very tricky to fight if you don't have the right thing. It's so nice having a dragon, though, this early in the game, because you just resist a lot of, like, um, stuff. The, if you An easy way to remember what dragons resist is it's um, any kind of starter. It's just... Because that's what Lance has, right? He has dragons. So no matter what his Pokemon are set to resist, grass, fire, water, and electric, which are the starters from the original gen. So they're expecting, he's, they're expecting you to try and use your ace Pokemon on him because you probably haven't seen dragons yet and for it to not work. Ah, another Tropius. Well, well, well. Let's go ahead and rock tomb you to try and lower your speed. Oh, super effective too, so that's pretty good. How does the gust do? The gust does more damage than I would like, but let's try and headbutt to get maybe a flinch. Okay, the stomps. You gotta watch out for the stomps with these things. Stomps is like this weirdly effective move. Spiro. Uh-oh, it's going down. Got another flying type trainer here. Boom, speed down. You would've thought that would've done. I hate, it's annoying that it almost killed it. Gentleman Arthur. That guy's a Tropius and a Spiro. What an interesting uh, lineup. There's no reason not to just keep healing from this chick. Because, uh, right? Okay, you're not going to fight me. Do you guys fight? Nope. Uh, you fight. Yes, you do. Hooray. Going down, last and Oh, you have a Dracus as well. You, you have a Bagon as well anyway. But is your Bagon as good as mine? Because I... I doubt it. Let's give it a headbutt. Yeah, ours is faster, so we almost can't lose. <coughs> Especially if we can make them flinch. Going to get... Oh! There's an Altaris. This is a dragon-type trainer. That's interesting. Oh, I think what we're going to do is switch to um, Data to hit this thing with some Aurora Beam. That should hurt it quite a lot. Yeah, that's what I thought. Growl doesn't affect us at all because we're using special-type attacks. <coughs> Yeah, Dracus, level 24, and Data? No, okay. Man, haven't, we haven't run into that many Dragon Trainers yet. I'm, I'm a little surprised, but I'm, it's nice having, it's a good reason to keep Data around because Ice type, right? Very effective. It'd be even better once we evolve, but we haven't yet. Uh, so we could just be able to bite through this thing, no problem, as long as we don't hit ourselves, which we do, of course, immediately do. We're gonna switch to CC to, uh, be, to be immune to all the ghost type attacks. Nightshade doesn't affect us, but we have Bite, so you're dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, oh, I was gonna say, the, is, the, is he poison or is he ghost? But ultimately it actually didn't matter. Brick Break, that's a fantastic move. Uh, let's see, open. Can anyone learn Brick Break? We don't have any fighting type attacks. We have, oh, CC, Dracus, and Happy can all learn it hmm who would be the best for that <clears throat> i bet well dracus i think i think fighting is good against ice so that would be some sort of coverage ideally we would just switch out but you never know um let's see who what is fighting good against it's good against dark and normal and i think and steel steel okay so Would it be good? Maybe, maybe CC. Maybe. Who has the best? Because so it's a, definitely a physical attack type move. Who is our strongest of those three? Uh, let's get a quick summary. I mean, it's almost, it's hard to tell, right? Because you're what? You're at 39. Or are you? Let's see. You're at 39. You're special attacks at 28. So you're a physical attacker either way. Yours is at 78. So you're obviously super strong. Yours is at. 60. 
Man, Cece's so strong. Should we give Cece the brick break? Hmm. Hmm. None of them will get stabbed. It's just more about coverage. Let's see. Who are we more likely to send out in the event of these things? Don't quite know. But, I mean, happy... Uh, hmm. Maybe... I'm going to keep thinking about it. I'm going to keep thinking about it. If I haven't decided by the end of the episode, let me know in the comments who you think we should give the brick break to. But at the moment, we're going to hold on that. Ooh, great ball, I think, down here, right? Chesto Berry. What does that do? The uh, held items are not... Oh, Berry Pouch. Uh -huh. When held by Pokemon, it'll be used in battle to wake up. Okay. Um, we may as well give it to someone in the event that we get woken up. Who would we most likely... Who's most likely to get hit with, like, sleep powder? Probably... Jade. I'm just going to to Happy. Why not? We definitely don't want Happy falling asleep, but, if we get, like, sleep powder is probably on a grass type. So, no, why would Happy get it then? We'd switch into, like, Sporkles, maybe? Does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. All right, whatever. Let's go up here. Go fight the people on the deck. Ahoy there, are you seasick? Huh? Oh, you've got a grand bull too, eh? Well, well. He looks ready for a fight. I guess he is. We know they are. We know grand bulls are. So, and uh, CC just keeps following Dracus around. So this is uh, going to be, we'll see how CC likes seeing Dracus smack down this other. See, right now, this would be a great opportunity for Dracus to have Brick Break because, you know, maybe we should get rid of Bite because Bite is a special move in this game and it's not doing us much good thus far because it's not going to be very effective and Brick Break would be amazing right here. So maybe that's the answer. It'd be so funny if we had a Salamence with a Brick Break on it though. Seems unusual. Not impossible, but whatever. Um, headbutt. Charm. Oh boy. Okay, I see how you want to play it. Of course, we could also go out to CC and then, like, I mean, we can get rid of. Uh, is, is Ghost? I think Ghost might be a physical type attack. What the hell in this gen? Because normally the way it's like special is if there's an evolution. That's how you can tell what the special type moves are. So I think Ghost is physical. Missed. It would give us something to fight steel types with, which would be good. So, it's, I mean, I think CC or Dracus are the ones to give Brick Break to. Hey, Pom, see, look at this guy. He'd be going down. We'd just be Brick Breaking him left and right. It's Sand Attack. Come on. CC go 23. Dude, I feel like, did we get hurt in that game? No, we're pretty good. Well, I'll give that to CC anyway, just in case, just in case. Gotta be ready. Who else do we fight? You, oh, okay. Normally if they're walking around, you can't fight them in this thing. Most of them don't. Uh, a lot of fire trainers that we're getting to wreck here. That's nice. Gorkle. Not that we need to uh, lower your speed much, do we, Torkoal? Oh, I see. You want to play that game? Okay. Well, if that's the game you want to play, I'm just going to switch out to uh, Data here, who doesn't have any accuracy loss, and who can hit you with a water pulse for the win. That's what I thought. See ya. Alright, we're getting close to the fight with Peaches. He's just at the end of this hallway, so we're going to clear out the rest of these guys. Oh, there's a Snorlax. That'd be nice to have on the team. Wouldn't mind a Snorlax, although we already have CC for our big normal type. Always good to have a good normal type around. Um, this thing. Ooh, a grass. We don't have... See, this is the thing. We don't have a great Pokemon to fight grass types with. We don't have a fire type. We don't have yet. I'm going to bring it out to... <laughs> see, because we can... Uh, so this is our data, is that data has the ice type attack, but... Uh, and then Moirang, we can hit it with poison, but it's already poison type. Actually, Dracus is just the right answer. We're just going to headbutt it. 
they're already resistant to grass type attacks. Sweet scent. Maybe Dracus is who we should get the berry to for such events. Oh, it's actually a poison type trainer. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Raku? Speed foul. I'm going for the harden, I see. We're going to go for the flinch tasticness of headbutt. Boom. Drac is up to level 25. Trying to learn Ember. Hey, look at that. Yes. Well, let's see. We have Bite, which is um, 60, but it's a special type. Well, they're both special. So Ember is actually only okay. I think we can get rid of Focus Energy, though. We used it that one time, but I'm not thinking it's that useful. I'd rather have the fire type attack than risk it on critical hits and waste turns hoping for that, so let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we'll get yeah. Because if we're going to fight, I just don't think we need bite. Really. On. Because we've already, because like the flinching, we've already got covered by headbutt, right? So it's just not that useful. We're going to get rid of focus energy for ember. Look at that. Now we're learning a fire type move. I didn't think we were, oh, but immediately then we get an opportunity to use Bite, so let's go ahead and do that. And it's super effective. Okay, okay, I get it. Amazing. Well done, well done, Dracus. As if I'm surprised. Let's give, uh, man, we should, uh, we need data to get some experience here on the day. Get some levels falling behind. Oh, look at that. Perfectly, we run into a Fire-type trainer. Throw the water pulse at it. It uses Roar to bring out CC, who's the other Pokemon who needs some training anyway, so it's no big deal. And we get the uh, Intimidate. Oh, what we're burned! Oh! Okay, I don't like that. We're gonna switch out to Data again. Uses Ember, and we're gonna water pulse this thing down. Don't get burned. Get burned. That'd be bad. The burns hurt because they cut your attack in half. If you're unaware, that's how burns work in. Pokemon. It's very annoying. It's very um, useful if you can burn other people, but man. I, you know, it's not even a condition you typically have to worry about that often. Because just not that many characters have fire types, but in this particular playthrough, indeed they do. So we're going to get a level out of this for sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Goldine, gone. See ya. And Wishcash, this guy's a water type trainer. Let's go ahead and get Moirin a little experience because he can totally wreck this Wish Cash with the Mega Drain. That should do it like one shot, no problem, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Love it, love it. I love that. Okay, I've just thought about this. Um, the <laughs> That our shiny type little sparkles there is has a type advantage over Peach's ace Pokemon, his Pidgeotto pretty fun okay so this is a what a bug uh, bug type yeah um so let's go to i guess we can just fight you like this can't we go with the water pulse oh you use protect i see okay clever not good enough how's that takedown do oh it almost knocked itself out that would have been funny another protect not gonna matter you're just trying to waste my power points it's fine you're still going down ninjask oh god for a second i thought it was gonna be I was confusing with Sheninja. I was like, oh no, are we gonna have to deal with getting a super effective move? That wouldn't be a problem, we could do it, but um, let's go Water Pulse. Harden, okay, that's not gonna protect you against this. Oh, it's Speed Boost, interesting, okay. There's the sand attack, will it matter? No, we stay focused, we look through the sand. Defeated last Dawn, that's right, you're gone. Forget it, Dawn. Only two more doors. And this one's got nothing, and is there a trainer fighting here? No. Okay, so I'm going to go heal the nurse for, you know, free healing, and then we're going to fight Peaches in what promises to be an epic throwdown. Hopefully, we are up to the task. Who should we lead with as we go into this fight? Sporkles can, of course, do Thunder Wave to whatever comes in. That seems good. And Moirin can set up a Leech Seed, which also seems good. Um, I think... I have no idea what he's going to lead with. That's the thing. It's really difficult to tell. CC will, of course... Let's do this. CC will, no matter what, throw an Intimidate on it. And that's nice, because it'll give us a chance to switch, unless it's a special attacker, but it'll be... That's that. That's there. That's the decision that we have made.
And here we go. Come on, peaches. Here he is. Oh, 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 oh. You can smell a mile off. Oh, bonjour, Jean. Imagine seeing you here. Man, were you really invaded? Me, has your Pokedex giving dirty cat 40 cats, pal. Different cats are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. Yeah, you look, you don't have to brag about how good you are at catching Pokemon. I know I'm failing at it, okay? But I've got a good team. And only half of them hate each other, which means all of them. That's how halves work. Okay. Nitto King. That's a nice start. I think I'm happy with our decision to lead with CC here. Because obviously this thing is uh, physically strong. So, what we're going to do is. Should we just. Maybe we should just charm this thing. Because it has poison points, so I don't really want to hit it. Here's what I want to do. Oh! Double kick. I don't like that. So we're just going to. What I'm going to do is go to... I'm going to go to uh, Moirin, who should be able to resist basically everything. And this thing has got three attack drops on it now. Focus energy, though, that's very bad. Okay, I was going to say we're going to sit here and do some growths. But uh, now that it's done that, I'm afraid of the crits. So instead, we're just going to Mega Drain it for the win. Oh, it has Peck. It has a flying type move. Oh, boy. Super effective. Man, glad that didn't crit. It does have three attack drops, so I think that was helpful. We got that back. Jeez, it did not do as much damage as I would have thought. Um, <laughs> hmm. Obviously, we're not going to be able to. We're just going to keep Mega Draining. Oh, he withdrew. Oh, he went right for the Pidgeotto. He went right for his ace. Man, I, I thought about Leech Seeding. That would have been great, but we didn't. Um, instead, we're going to respond. Oh, should we respond with Sporkles? I think obviously we should, right? I mean,. We could go Dracus to try and rock to him, lower its speed. We could go CC, hit the Intimidate. We could go Data, hit the Aurora Beam. So we have options. We're going to go Sporkles. Time to shine. You know what I mean, right? Boom, here it is. Yeah, look at that. Gust. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad because we have high special defense. Unless it's fine. Physical? I think it must be. We're going to go Spark. Quick attack. Yeah, nothing, I'm afraid. Ace down. That's what I like to see. Okay, what's he gonna come in with? What's he gonna come in with? Sparkles grew to 27. Man, Sparkles, you're so good. You're so good. Yeah, the Nitto King. I'm not surprised. So we're just gonna switch right back out. <coughs> and should we do the same thing? Hit it with another Intimidate? Or should we go to Moirin and just... I mean, we can go to Happy and just absolutely wreck it. And make it no chance at all. But I feel like it's a good chance for Moirin to get experience but i'm gonna go back i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna go here and hit the intimidate on it focus energy again though i don't like that it's very nerve-wracking this is good hit with something it was something strong it has double kick so we know that's probably gonna happen so we're gonna switch to moirin because moirin will resist the double kick then he has pet that's okay because we can just hit mega drain and we'll just get some health back yeah, see, here's the double kick, as predicted. Does nothing, because we resist it, because we're poison type. And then he's gonna try and... Oh, I forgot we actually healed some of the um, damage when the Pidgeotto came in. He is fast, which is surprising, but shouldn't be too... Ah, oh, it's with a critical peck, that would be bad. That would be bad. He's obviously gonna go for the peck, though. Um, but we should be okay. There it is. Yeah, super effective. I'm afraid, worthless. Yeah, now I'm not that worried about it. Okay, I think we're good. And we're just gonna Mega Drain. Yep. Whew, okay. I say we're good, and then I immediately am like, was that a bad call? It was okay. It was okay. We made it. Is a Nitto King. So we don't even know what his other Pokemon. He just has Nitto King and Pidgeotto. But I don't think these do seem like new Pokemon, or at least I don't remember him having a Nidorino last time. We'll see if he has the Umbreon. Oh, he has a victory belt. Did he have this last time? I can't remember. I can't remember his last Pokemon. Um, we shouldn't be too worried about this, though. We are going to switch to Dracus, I think, to... He's only level 16, so we're significantly higher. And we're going to hit this with an Ember. And it does a lot of damage. It hits with the Sleep Powder. Man, I almost gave you the Chesto Berry. Wouldn't that have been perfect if we predicted the, the Peaches and there's the Razor Leaf? Nothing, okay, and we resist it. It's not very effective. Razor Leaf again. Razor Leaf does have high critical hit chance, but... Oh boy, it's making me a little bit nervous in that regard. 
Come on, wake up, Dracus. You can do this. Oh, 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 this is racing leaf. Come on. Okay, what we're gonna do is just go back and we're gonna go super potion and hit that on the old Dracus. And we're back asleep, that's hilarious. And Razor Loop again. So his strategy is, he does have a strategy, which is interesting. Like the computer has been a little bit better and like using Parish Song and switching. Wake up! Or we're gonna have to switch, goodness. Um, we're gonna go to CC, cause that shouldn't take too much damage from really anything either. And we'll just hit it with the Intimidate. Although it's a special type attack, so. Um, Bam. Yeah, get out of here. Track is game 217. What's he got? What's his final Pokemon? A Kakana. Okay, so. <laughs> that's hilarious that he has Kakana as one of his Pokemon. Oh, man. That is really funny. Like, I, can't, I so hope something like that happens in the Elite Four. He's like, ready, here we go. Metapod. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Does it, is it all you're going to have is Hearted? That's so funny. We're just going to wreck through this thing. But tackle, that's game. Okay. Awesome. Well done, Peaches. You put up more of a fight than most of the trainers we were against today. But as ever, not much of a fight. Boom. There you go. We did it. Man, that uh, victory bell the sleep powder razor leaf, though. He was getting some very effective sleep. That's what happens, though. I mean, Drac has been staying up late. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised that... It was uh, eager for some sleep. Hmm? Rub, 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 rub. Ooh, thank you, I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I can show you my prize cut technique if I weren't so ill. Oh, I know, you can have this hidden machine. Ugh, the tragedy is that we're gonna have to give cut to one of our Pokemon because we don't have any other Pokemon in the box we could cheat it to because we haven't caught anything that could do it. So it's probably very unfortunately going to have to go to, um, where's our TM case? And it's probably gonna have to go to, oh, okay, we have a few who can learn it. I don't think, I mean, let's see. Should a move be replaced for cut? Which move should be replaced? I would super do, uh, so cut is 50, 95. Headbutt's obviously better. Um, uh, we're definitely not gonna do that. Um, yes, track is not really new. cut. Someone's gonna have to learn it though, that's the problem. Moirin wants to learn cut. Yeah, let's see, which one should we bring on? Uh, I mean, I guess we can get rid of growth. So I'll put, that's because we're not really using it that much if we're being honest. And we have to give it to someone. And I feel like I'd rather give it to Moira than I'd rather give it to uh, uh, Happy. So there we go, it's done. Sorry, I, I, I don't know if we can go to the move deleter at some point and get rid of that, but it's the annoying thing about having HMs. You gotta, someone's gotta do it. Someone's gotta take that fall. Woo, bye SSN, see you later. All right, I'm gonna, just for the, just for funds, I'm gonna go see if we can't catch something real quick because I want, just because I want to. I want, that's the fun of the randomizer. I want to catch random stuff and we keep missing out and we're gonna see if we can. We're gonna see if we can. Let's go up here. We're gonna cut through the thing, unless we have to fight Lieutenant Surge first, in which case I'm just remembering the game wrong, which wouldn't be that surprising either, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Moira used cut. Okay. Now we're gonna have to fight this this girl. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Okay, whatever. She has a camera. That's a pretty strong looking Pokemon for sure. Just gonna tackle right through it though. No problem. A Cubone. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what are you a ground type trainer then? I'm gonna try and get in data to try and get some experience on you and go up the water pulse here. Boom. Excellent. Oh, a Wooper. Is Wooper already ground? I thought Wooper was just water, and then it became a ground type when it evolved, but obviously not. Interesting. Data grew 24, and there's another camera up, and we're... I, man, this guy's all over the place. Water Pulse, dead. Bam, well done, Data. Good, good wins, good wins. That's just like Razor Wind. It's not a very good attack. I think we're gonna have to fight. Oh, can we get, can we, oh man. I was gonna try and sneak past this guy, but <laughs> we didn't, that's okay. 
We're gonna try and catch something on the route. Um, let's attack with this thing dead. We have to attack you because we use the taunt. Dead. 1085. Well done, CC. Carvana. Yeah, gone. That's that. Excellent. Oh, there's another one. Okay. All right. Who are we going to switch to now? Um, I guess we should go... Whoops. We're going to go Moirin because Moirin's our new lowest level. So here we go. Moirin Rose. Carvana. Oh, what a perfect... What a perfect choice. No, not Poison Sting. Mega Drain. There we go. We'll get all that health back anyway. Boom. Nicely done. Nicely done, Moirin. Crushing it. And another Carbonite. So this is an easy fight because they're water types and we're grass type. And that's how it goes. Well done. We did it. Carbonite had its energy drained. All right. Now we can go into this grass. All right. Are we ready? We're going to catch something. God willing. God willing, we're going to catch something. Let's see. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, I'm so I'm nervous. I'm... Ugh. It's, it's a spitter rat. Oh, that's so not fun. That is so... Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cut. Watch us knock it out anyway. I'm upset that it's a spitter rat, but I'm going to be also upset if... We kill yet another thing. Okay, I don't think we can be poisoned because we're a poison type, and that would be poor game design. But, you know, it happens sometimes. Should we Great Ball it? No. We can catch a Spinner Rack. I hope. Oh my gosh, we did it. We caught a Spinner Rack. Look at that. We caught a little... <sighs> okay, that's what, it, that's what it was, huh? A Spinner Rack. It's cool. String spits, but your license could have been, could have been anything. Yeah, we'll give you a nickname. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. You know what? You can never tell. You can never tell. Sometimes you think you're upset with the Pokemon, and then you play with them, and they're amazing. So, let's go find a name. All right, Spinarak. Welcome, Wildberry. Which I'm, I'm sure it's supposed to be announced Wildberry, but I'm calling it Wildberry, as in Berry is wild. Welcome Wildberry, the spinner rack, to the box. Uh, hopefully we don't end up, I mean, let's see. What could have been, you guys? What could have been? A Clefable, it could have been a Clefable, but it wasn't. It was something else. It was a spinner rack. That's the world we're in. It's okay. Anyway. In the next episode, I think we're going to take on Lieutenant Surge and whatever kind of weird gym uh, he's going to have. Who knows what type it could be? We'll find out then. But at least we caught another Pokemon and we defeated Peaches one more time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys are huge Spinarak fans. Should we let should we put Wildberry on the team? Let me know uh, in the towel section down below. Otherwise, thank you so much, as always, for liking this video and watching. Um, don't forget to leave a comment so that uh, you could be... Uh, we could have a Pokemon named after you in a future episode. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye!